Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, we honor you for bringing us again today. Because this is an appointment that you had with us, God. I thank you, I bless you for each one that is watching this stream. Let the, your name, Jesus, let the, everybody bow before your throne. Let that only your name be magnified in this place. Let that your Holy Spirit take control of everything that we'll be doing here. Let that your Holy Spirit touch our hearts, Jesus, so that everything we'll be saying here, everything we'll be doing here be for your own glory. Let that the whole world recognize and knowledge that you are the king of glory you are the god you are the, the 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 savior you are our savior our lord everything lord evolve around you hallelujah to be with you oh just wanna be with you hallelujah god we want to be with you i greet you all in jesus name where you are i'm going to encourage you please if you can start sharing uh, this streaming share start a watching party share in your timeline share comments we'll be having we'll be taking questions be prepared because today what you're going to receive is from above it's going to be something that will bring you one step toward god hallelujah i believe i want you to have your heart open your heart ready to receive something from god oh king of glory fill this place fill this place fill this place king fill this place fill our hearts king of glory since we are talking about worshipers we want you to tell us today again one more thing that maybe we forgot or something that we're ignoring something that you want us to know about you because you're seeking through worshipers god Yes, Lord, that's why we are here today. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. We want to hear from you, God. Hallelujah. King of glory. Feel this place. Change the atmosphere. We just want to be with you. Just wanna be with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of the people are like, what is altitude meaning? You know? Yes. This is not our first time to do the altitude meeting. 
Uh, we've been doing it for couples. We've been doing it for different step or different ministry in the CPM ministry. But um, when we say altitude meeting, it's just, it's not because we are experts. No. It's not because we know it all. No. It's just because we want to be a blessing for you. Altitude means one step higher than where you are. We want to be a blessing, bringing at least a little step, something, at least even just one thing that we're going to bring you tonight, to this afternoon, it depends when you're watching. Ça dépend vraiment de là où vous nous suivez en Europe, en Afrique. One step, at least one step higher than where you were before. The name of God will be glorified. That's why we call it altitude meeting. It's like when you you in the, the the flight, the airplane. When the airplane goes higher, you you don't have the same altitude anymore. So it's the same thing. I'm gonna ask you to have your mindset ready, to be ready to receive. Don't be like someone who's going just. I'm gonna give you an example. When you go to a dentist, I know many of us, we go to a dentist. A dentist will show you, we give you floss. We tell you, you need to use this. But how many of us really use and do everything that the dentist say? So even though when we go there because we, we, we have, we have, um, we have, uh, no, we have toothache. But we already know what we have done wrong. But we just go because I want this pain away. I'm just going to be there. You don't come with expectation to change or to apply everything that the dentist is telling you. It's going to tell you to floss. You're not going to floss anyway. But you're going to listen. It's going to show you all those pictures. You know when you don't floss, this is bacteria. This is oh, you still there. But I want you to come with a mind of expectation. Like everything we'll be learning or we'll be receiving from God. We're going to Put it in practice, in action. Don't come like someone who already know. No. Come and say, God, I believe today you're going to use your people to bring something new in my life. Something that the Holy Spirit will help me to put in action. We're talking about worshipping the Most High God. Worshipping God. God needs me. God needs you. God needs everybody here to worship him alone because this is the reason he created us to worship him. He needs you to worship and you must worship him in truth. Hallelujah and spirits. So I welcome you again. People that are joining. God bless you where you are. Share with your friends. I know you won't be disappointed. I'm sure I know. I know you won't be disappointed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As you knew, because some people are like, oh, so since Sister Maggie was talking, we don't see, no, we didn't, we didn't lie to you, okay? We're going to have a great woman of God. In fact, we already have the great woman of God with us. So without further ado, I don't want to waste your time. I'm going just, can we give some shouts for our woman of God, a great worshiper that you, you know, our minister, our sister, our mother, Deborah Lukalu. Yay! Let's give praise to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hi, hi, Minister Deborah. I greet you, sis. I, I greet you. <laughs> Can I get some volume on my mic one more time? Yes, we're going to give her some volume on the mic. Um, yes, this is how it is when you, when you <laughs> deal with a singer, okay? <laughs> I feel like my mic was touched a little. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. All those watching us from all over, we greet and bless you. Hallelujah. Listen, don't keep this life for yourself. Invite mm -hmm. a friend, invite a colleague, your family members, your neighbor to join in because this session will surely bless somebody. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, join us, join us, join us. Share this live. Share it massively. Share it with 
love with a lot of expectation the bible says that wherever two or three are gathered he is there so i already feel the presence of the lord and i'm so excited with what the lord is gonna do tonight thank you so much sister mcgee um, Tuka, I don't know what to say. I, I am thrilled. I am happy to see you and to Me be here too. with you today. Me too. Long time. To speak yes. about worship. You Amen. know, this pandemic has been so mean to us. Yeah. We, we had so many things planned out, but mm -hmm. God's time is the best. And I believe that yes. this was all set up yeah. and planned by God. Thank you mm -hmm. to Pastor Pius and the entire team yeah. for this opportunity, Amen. for this invitation. Amen. I'm so excited. Amen. Today we're going to talk about what? I know you guys, uh, you, you've seen the flyer. We're going to talk about what? I want some people to comment. I won't see it, but I want just you guys to comment. What is the title of today? We're not just talking about worship, guys. We are not just talking about worship. We are talking about a breakthrough and prophetic worship. Oh, my God. I can't wait to hear what God has in store for me today. A breakthrough and prophetic worship. We, we've been talking about worship. We know what is worship, what is praise, all, of, all over the world. But we want to hear today what is the breakthrough and prophetic worship. I know this is the something, this is the altitude that I'm going to get today. Amen. From the Lord through our sister minister. <laughs> Thank Amen. God, Amen. Sister Deborah. I mean, uh, Sister Maggie, uh, like I said, when, we, when it comes to worship, you know, everybody, we found it. It's not something that started today. Mm -hmm. Everybody automatically thinks of music, yes. right? Mm -hmm. We see it in church. Yes. We see it in huge conferences. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to worship the Lord, and you mm -hmm. see all the singers getting ready. Yes. But that is a big mistake. Mm -hmm. Music is a part of worship, Amen. but it's not worship. It's Worship is simply a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And Apostle Paul literally shows us, mm -hmm. all right, he shows us in Romans 12, verse 1, Amen. that, I, brethren, I urge you, mm -hmm. I beseech you, if you can offer your bodies as living sacrifices, Sacrifice. that is a true yes. and pleasing, yes. and that is worship, that is a service yeah. unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's what Apostle Paul defines as worship. Mm -hmm. And we come in the church, mm -hmm. we are so focused on the 20 minute that is given to us and we say we oh my gosh today i worship no god does not see what is public god see what is secret private, yes. what is private Amen. what is in the secret place mm -hmm. so i'm here to tell somebody that if you for one second thought that worship was simply the 10 20 minute mm -hmm. that you are given on a sunday wrong. morning then you are wrong yes. i came to tell you that worship is your lifestyle Alleluia. worship is a service that you render Alleluia. unto the lord reverence yes. To the lord so if we say that worship is simply music where do we put the cleaners of the church yes Ooh. where do we put the intercessors of the church Hallelujah. where do we put those that serve god through their finances mm. so worship mm. is every service rendered to the lord Hallelujah. in truth Hallelujah. that's why he says it in, in his word yeah. i'm searching and you know sister maggie the only time i saw god searching, searching. yes was when he's for searching worshipers. for worshipers if truly God was seeking for singers, you and I were going to be disqualified. Yes. No, il y a des gens qui chantent. Oh, Nous là on blague. Oh, il y a des gens qui chantent. Yes. There are people that truly sing. Sometimes I listen to some people sing and I'm like, am I wasting my time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, God is not looking for those that are singing. Yeah. If God was looking for singers, he would have kept Lucifer. No, 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 no. He would have kept Lucifer. <laughs> because you and I only know four. Yeah. Alto, soprano, tenor, and low, uh -huh. and bass. <laughs> but the Bible says that Lucifer knows seven. Where are those other three voices? Where yes. are they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if it was all about music, like I said, you and me, we're going to be on the law. Yes. But why today are we impacting? Mm -hmm. Because God is seeking for truth. Yes, hallelujah. Worship is truth. Yes. What comes from your heart with passion. Yes. So if you sweep the church, mm -hmm. do it with passion. Mm -hmm. If you offer your offering and give your tithe, you, you give, you, some people worship when they pay water, when they buy water for the church, mm -hmm. that is their worship. Yes. Some people worship because they serve the pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. am, I, am I speaking to yes. somebody? If I'm going too fast, can you say, slow down, woman of God, slow down. We get it, we get it. <laughs> if worship was simply music, yeah. maybe you were going to be disqualified. Yes. God is not looking for the 10 minutes we spend on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. God is looking for 
every single day when you wake up in the morning you say lord i'm born to worship you god is not calling us to impress he's calling us to impact and the only time we can impact is when we do it with love passion and excellence and he's searching he said if you don't worship me i will raise stones and i tell myself but how can god raise stones let every living thing if you have breath praise me says the lord but how come he can raise against stones? They don't breathe. They don't breathe. <laughs> Jesus. So if you refuse to serve the Lord, if you refuse to worship your God mm. with the gift, Jesus, oh, with the gift that he gave to you, mm. and you know, in the end, Sister Maggie, I will say, God will not judge us, you know, on judgment day for mm. our sins. No. Mm. He will not judge us because of the sins we committed on earth. Mm. We are all sinners. Yes. He will judge us with the things we did not do. Wow. Curse is the man who serves the Lord with negligence. negligence. I will say, yes. curse is the man who worships God without excellence. Wow. Curse is the man who does not worship God with oh, all his heart, in spirit, and, and in truth. truth. So if you want to know worship, if you want to forget about everything I said, I want to tell somebody that worship is not music. Mm -hmm. Lifting up the hands can be worship. Yes. Going on your knees can be worship. Putting those hands together. You know, there are some people that if you don't pray, it's okay. You just put those hands together. You put those. That is mm -hmm. worship. Mm -hmm. Worship can come in. We cannot, we cannot put worship in a box. Mm -hmm. We cannot. Mm -hmm. It's beyond that. Yes. There are people that worship without holding this mic. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, now in our, in our generation, yes. everybody wants to be preachers. Yes. Everybody wants to be <laughs> singers. I mean, who are we going to sing to? Who yeah. are we going to preach to if yeah. everybody wants to be on the pulpit? Yes. You can still worship God without worship. standing on the pulpit. Yes. You've been called for a purpose. You just got to discover what is that purpose and worship God in that service. Yes. Wow, wow, Jesus. That was, that was really deep. Wow. So how, how can you say that what are, the worship that I brought it was, it, was, it was a breakthrough one? Because when we say breakthrough, we see something that is breaking, something that is, is, uh, is abnormal, something that is, comes and is going through, something that he was like, like whole, like they put you in the prison, like with, with uh, Peter, they put him in the prison when he's out, or like when people were, uh, the, the wall of Jericho. Mm -hmm. Like how, how can you say, if someone said today, like I want to, I want to live that breakthrough worship of that prophetic one. Like, it has to what for me to do it? Am I going to give a lot of money at church? Then I'll say like, with all my heart, that that was the... Do you remember the story of the lady? The Bible says that Jesus was standing, you know, people were giving offering. Mm -hmm. And the lady only had one coin. Yes. The Bible says that she gave all she had. Mm -hmm. You can give all, all the money you want. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't come from your heart, mm -hmm. it's not enough for the Lord. Like I said, God is not looking for what will impress. Mm -hmm. He's looking for what will impact. Mm -hmm. And all God wants is the truth. Mm -hmm. God does not want uh, uh, crumbs. Mm -hmm. He wants your all. I'm going to give you two examples. Mm -hmm. The best time to worship God, if you ask me, is in the bad moment. Yes. When everything is good, we tend to say, Lord, I praise you. You see somebody testifying. Why? We tend to worship God for the things that he did. But we don't worship God for that. We worship him for who he is. That means regardless of what I go through, I worship him anyway. God, we, are the, we are the anyway production of the Lord. Whether things are good, whether things are bad, we worship him anyway. Whether we sin, whether we don't sin, he loved us anyway. Therefore, he deserves our worship anyway. Listen. A, there was a lady in the, in the Bible. She was looking for a son. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that she went to church all the time. She was asking for a servant of God. I need a son. But she never received a son. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the woman Anna. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when she decided mm -hmm. to go in the house of the Lord mm -hmm. to worship, mm -hmm. she received that means God found an interest in her worship. She yes. said, if you give me a son, I will give you a servant. Mm. God was looking for a servant. Mm. So when God finds interest Hallelujah. in your worship, he will give you what your heart Woo. desires. Yes. Worship is not ours. Worship is the Lord's. Oh, but when you do it with all your heart, there is benefit in, in worship. Mm. That means you can be cured 
through your worship. You can have your breakthrough. We're talking about breakthrough. You can have your breakthrough in that worship. You've been searching and searching for a door to open. Let me tell you, you can try all you want. But let me tell you the best way to receive what you've been asking for. Worship him anyway. Yes. Another story. Rekataya. Jesus. There was a man. Two men. Paul and Silas. Arrested in prison. Amen. Mm -hmm. Arrested in prison. I don't know what prison you may be found in. The Bible said that they began to praise and worship the Lord mm -hmm. and chains began to, to break. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you that worship can break chains. When, when, when I see the word breakthrough, it's break and going through. Mm -hmm. So if you want to break and go through, mm -hmm. worship God. Hallelujah. Worship him regardless. Mm -hmm. Worship him in the good times. Worship him in the bad times. Mm -hmm. Worship him when all is good. Mm -hmm. Worship him when all is bad. Hallelujah. Worship him if he gives you or wonder whether he gives you or not mm. because he remains God mm. our God is always on time never late never mm. too early yes. he's always on time you say Lord I don't mind waiting for you yes. I will stay here like Anna and I will worship you mm. when God find his interest in your worship you will break through mm. sister Deborah you, you you I don't know what you're doing to me I have a question that uh, something coming in my mind we talk, when we you talk about Anna Someone can say, like me, I can say, okay, that means I can go to church and tell God, okay, what God, okay, God, if you give me money, I'll do this. Even if it's not really like something that comes from my mind, like this is the, because this is the, it's like uh, the way of getting a breakthrough. <laughs> Sister Maggie, I, I totally understand. I totally understand your question. But you know, you can fool man, but you can never fool God. Amen. I'm going to say this to everyone watching me. God does not answer our prayers. <laughs> yes. God answers the intention Woo, behind yes. our prayers. Amen. God does not answer our worship. Yes. He answers the intention, the drive behind our worship. Amen. So you can fool us, cry all you want, give money all you want. But if you don't do it in spirit and in truth, only God, because you give it to God. Remember, uh, 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 the, the children, who, Cain and Abel, mm -hmm. the children of Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. Cain and Abel offered to the Lord. Yes. But only, yeah. only Abel's wa was received. Yes. I mean, Cain as well gave. Yeah. Wasn't it enough that he gave? So God doesn't, it's not, it's not what you give. It's how you give it. Mm. Jesus. It's not what you give. It's not the worship that, 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 that means much mm. to the Lord. It's how you give it. Mm. It's the drive behind the worship. Yeah. So you cannot say, Lord, I'm going to worship you so that you may do this for me. No, you don't yeah. bribe God. <laughs> we cannot bribe God. We can yeah. never bribe God. Jesus. Worship is not a way. We've been created to be worshipers. Mm. Sister Maggie, let me shock you. If God did not give me the voice, even actually today it's gone, as you can hear. Yeah. <laughs> if God did not give me the gift I have mm. to sing for him, to impact the world, Hallelujah. I'd still be a worshiper. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. I'd still be a worshiper. Yes. Because I don't define myself as a worshiper because of the mic because of songs yes. or because of the views I have on, on, on social media. Yes. That doesn't mean nothing to the Lord. Yes. God looks at my life in the secret place. Mm. What I do in the dark, yes. what I do when no man sees me, mm. that's what's important in yes. the sight of the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Agreed. Oh, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Yes, that's true. You hear, it's not about the view, so... <laughs> It's never about the views. It's never about the views. Yeah. God is happy. You know that we can have uh, one million views, yeah. but if one soul, that's oh, all. Yeah. That's all God is seeking for. Yes. If ever I release a song, Sister Maggie, mm -hmm. and one life is given, I have one view, and that one view has oh. saved somebody's life, it's my joy. Oh. That's all I seek for. Yeah. That's you, my desire. Every that time they ask me, <laughs> yes, every time they ask me, Sister, what is your biggest dream? My biggest dream is that every time I make music, mm -hmm. that I may impact one life that's one right. person yeah. not the thousand views that come and say sister ah sister deborah you can sing that's not what we search for mm. we search to impact and that's not to impress mm -hmm. that is my drive yes wow sister deborah you said something uh, earlier about giving our own body some many times when people hear breakthrough they only see situation maybe financial situation uh relationship situation uh, healing, restoration, whatever it is, it's kind of hard for people to see their own life. Like mm. to say, God, I want a breakthrough because I'm a liar. Like I want a breakthrough be in my life because 
I'm a thief. I want a breakthrough in my life because I'm selfish. The Bible says that he's waiting for people to give their own body. That means, if I understand what you say, it looks like for God, material and everything that we have, it's not really what is important. God is seeking our heart. He wants our heart. So that means he wants to have a deep relationship with us. You know, when I hear you say yes. body, Sister Maggie, there's no way we can say body and remove the heart. It's no longer a body. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So God is looking for every part of you. Mm -hmm. That means this body contains three things. Mm -hmm. Your spirit, your soul. So, that is just la, la cacas. Mm -hmm. why, why then do we bury the dead? Yes. We could have left them there. Mm -hmm. We bury them because their heart is no longer beating. Mm -hmm. So the Bible is talking about body mm -hmm. means your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. when, the, when the Bible is talking about your body, it means your all. Mm -hmm. There's no excluding your heart, no I exclude mm -hmm. my spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to serve the Lord just with my body, but I'm not going to include my heart. It's not a buffet. God did not ask you to choose. It's not a buffet. God is asking us to give our all mm -hmm. and to do it with passion. Mm -hmm. That's what the Lord refers to. God is not asking us to choose. He's not giving us a choice. He is saying, I want your all. Mm. And when you're talking about, I want a breakthrough, uh, uh, through, uh, um, uh, I want my personality to change. Mm. I want to stop being a liar. When you worship God, mm. automatically he changes your identity. Mm. Worship changes your yeah. identity. That's why we're talking yeah. about altitude. Mm. All right. You can never meet the Lord and remain the same, Sister yeah. Maggie. Your life has to change. Mm. We are not rabbis. Only Him remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm. We are called to change. Yes. If I encounter Pastor Pius, mm. then I, I got to receive something, something from, from Him. him. Yeah. Every time I'm with Him, it's either He gives me an advice, yeah. I grab something from Him. You cannot come in the Lord and remain the same. I want to stay with my lies. I want to stay with my selfishness. Mm -hmm. I want to stay with this. No, you got to change. We are called to change. There's no growth without change, and there's no change without growth. So when we meet the Lord, we are meant to change. Say, Lord, I want to get better. Lord, I want to be a better wife. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better worshiper, not a better singer. If that was it, then we would be going to music school, which I want to go. I know I want to get better, but I'm just saying. <laughs> we, we, you want to get better in what you do. Father, I want to be a better uh, uh, daughter-in-law. I want to be a better um, businesswoman. Mm. I, I don't want to be a liar. Mm. I don't want to be a hater. Mm. I don't want to be somebody who always gossips. Yes. Because worship changes things. Yes. But most of all, worship changes you. Hallelujah. So there's no way you can worship the tr in spirit and in truth and still remain the same, Sister yes. McGee. There's no way. Yes. Every person that encounters the Lord mm. encounters change. Hallelujah. So if you don't encounter change, then you better ask yourself a question. Mm. Did I truly meet the Lord? Mm. That's the question we got to ask. Mm. If I remain the same, yesterday, today, and forever. And the thing is, in the church, we need to stop judging. Mm. People change at their own pace. Yes. We cannot change people. Yes. God is the one that changes. Mm. Amen. God is the one that changes. Yes. So we see somebody coming in church, persevering. Let's leave them. Let's, do, let's leave God do his job as Hallelujah. God. We a lot of times we try to help God. Yes. Amen. We try to help God in the church. While change is a process. Mm. And we all need deliverance. For me, maybe deliverance is Samagi, I'm jealous, or I hate, mm. or I'm a thief, or I, I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. For every person, I always say church mm. is a hospital. We don't come in church because it's a museum of perfect people. Mm. So I'm going to ask people to stay in one church. Yes. Worship God with all your heart. Give yourself. Mm. On ne veut pas des vagabonds spirituels dans des églises. Mm. C'est pourquoi il n'y a plus des serviteurs. Mm. On ne cherche pas des musiciens ou bien les gens qui parlent. Non, non. On veut des serviteurs et des servantes. Hallelujah. And if you do that, that is true worship. Mm. True worship is not when you come and stand, you hold the mic and say, mm. oh, we see Sister Maggie, I am be bien. That is the reward of man. God wants to reward you as God. Mm. And the only time he's going to reward you is when you stay faithful to him. Yes. How do you stay faithful to him? Yes. By staying faithful to your spiritual father. By staying faithful to your church. Wow, 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 wow. Come on, guys. I don't know if, it's, if you're getting it or not. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Altitude. Oh, <laughs> altitude. Yes. Jesus. Woo. Tu es mon ami. Elle me provoque. Elle me provoque. <laughs> Sister Maggie, we're talking about altitude. <laughs> Marco, 
Yes, oh my God. Tu as essuyé les larmes de mon enfance. Oh. Ne me tu pas. as essuyé <rire> les larmes de ma famille. Ma consolation. Oh, mon ami. Hey. Hey. Mon ami. Hey. Mon ami. Hey. C'est toi, Jésus. Oh. Mon confident. C'est toi, Seigneur. Jesus. Le libérateur de tous les opprimés. Ma consolation. Tu es la solution Alléluia. à toutes mes équations. Ma consolation. Tu as essuyé les larmes de mon enfance. Ah ouais. Ma consolation. Tu as essuyé les larmes de ma, ma famille. famille. Ma consolation. Mon ami est. Eh, 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 mon ami est. Eh, eh, eh. Alléluia. Oh, Jesus. Jesus is our best friend, our faithful friend. But he wants you to stay faithful. Amen. Like she just said. Sister Debra, there is, when I was, I was just uh, trying to do some research about prophetic um, worship. worship, I find some, some, some preachers, people were talking about prophetic worship and all of that. And I went to Ezekiel. Au début, là, il y a une, au début, on parle d'Ezekiel when God was telling him how to do prophetic action and for, for Jerusalem and Israel. Come on, come on. God would tell him, he told him you will lay because he was praying for Jerusalem. Jerusalem has been uh, rebel and uh, yeah. Et Dieu voulait, God wanted him to pray for them. Et il lui disait, you're going to lay in your left for 390 days. Mm -hmm just asking forgiveness or praying for Jerusalem. So he built like a, a city. He built like a city. God gave him instruction. Like you're going to build, you're going to take this stone. You're going to take this, this, build that way. You're going to face this way. And then you're going to lay in your left side for 390 days. Now moving. He even told him to... Uh, d'attacher les cordes comme ça is not gonna move so to stay in this so I was like and he was doing it and after that he has to go to another side for 40 days I'm not saying that this is what you're gonna do to do a prophetic worship but it brings something in my I felt really bad I'm like God this man was doing it It's not him who sinned. It's not him who did all of that that God was saying like, les pères et les enfants étaient rebelles envers moi. But God goes and takes someone else to come and pray for your sin while you even continue doing whatever you're doing. But he has to worship. And every time he will say that, uh, I'm your Lord and Savior, and he will bow. So c'était une façon pour lui de... Re, la révérence, to, to, yeah, the reverence, to, to worship, to bow, to recognize that there is someone higher than, than me, than, than I, and it, it, it's okay to do everything. I was just thinking like, when they tell us, even for yourself, like, can you uh, 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 fast for three days without eating? Maybe eat just drink tea, uh, don't eat, we're going to pray for generation curse, <laughs> <Come on now. laughs> for this. <laughs> And people will be like, no, I'll, pff, I don't want to do it. But I can't imagine someone doing these prophetic gestures, like doing this, he was not even there, staying in the same. I was like, il n'y a pas eu de conséquences, il n'y a pas eu, like how, how can we really connect and uh, really do The prophetic, like how can we, when God tell, tell me, do this for me, even if it's not for myself, just for God, like how can I give myself, like we say I give myself away, but how can I really 
vénéré un dieu à this point that he tells you to stay even me i don't know if i can i can do that like for 390 days sister deborah in your left side and after that you think it's done he said no now 40 days in your right side like sister Maggie, this this is a preaching i think i need to come back for a conference <laughs> I need to come back for a three-day conference. Because people will be like, <laughs> we talk about breakthrough right now, but what about the prophetic system what is, again? What can I do? <clears throat> Let me tell you one thing. Listen. <clears throat> Every great man that has a story, whether in the Bible, whether outside, big pastors, bishop, all right, um, doctors, lawyers, there is always a sacrifice. There is no way that God will use you in the public powerfully if he never used you in the secret powerfully. If he never gave you instructions in the secret powerfully. If you never sort of sacrificed yourself. Let me let a simple example. Messi. Messi did not become who he is because he lays around. He worked hard to become who he is. Even during this pandemic, Messi was working. And a lot of times in the kingdom of God, we are mentoring lazy people. We are preaching to lazy people. We are giving instructions from the Lord to lazy people. Yes. And we have b a bunch of lazy people in the church while the pastor is doing all the work. And when things don't happen in their lives, they say the pastor is not powerful. Yeah. Now, how do you expect to embrace or to encounter I breakthrough mean, yeah. if you don't take instruction? The Bible says, let him that has ears hear yeah. what the Lord says. Mm. The Lord says through the man of God. Yes. If the man of God tells you fast, but it's for your own good. It's not for his own good. Mm. He has a life. He has his children. Mm. He has his own story to oh. build. Now, Every great man, whether read it in the Bible or mm. in the world, mm. they have a story to tell. Even yes. me, Sister Maggie, the million views you see on Instagram, mm. c'est même pas ça pour laquelle je travaille. C'est pas ça. Mm. I wanna get. I wanna go higher. Yes. I wanna do bigger Ooh. things. Altitude. Big altitude. Yes. I wanna do great things for a great God. Ooh. Excellent things yes. for an excellent God. But there is a price to pay. A lot of us want the glory, but we don't want to pass through the pain. David says, even when I walk in the valley of the shadow, I fear no evil. Because he knows, before you get to one glory, there is a battle. Yes. Now, a lot of us don't want to encounter the battle. We don't want to fight. We, want we just want the glory. Now, if God gives you an instruction to fast and you don't, that is yours. Le salut est individuel. Everybody has their race to run. I'm not running Sister Maggie's race. Yes. If I gotta fast, I gotta fast. It's my life. Sure, it's my yeah. destiny. I will be judged alone. Mm -hmm. You will be judged alone. You refuse to take instruction from the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Lord tells you, sleep this way. You don't sleep. That is your life. That is your destiny. That is your story. You have to tell the Lord why you didn't do it. I said it. Mm -hmm. God will not judge us because of our sins. Mm -hmm. He will judge us with the things we did not do. Mm -hmm. Deborah, I gave you instruction. I told you to do one, two, three, and you did not do it mm. there is a door here mm. your sins have been forgiven yes but i gave you a gift and you did not use it wow, 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 wow. so i'm here to say prophetically speaking it depends on you the pastor can say i need the church to fast for three days some people are starving themselves hmm. ask me why because they are not fasting with their heart. It doesn't come from the heart. They are fasting to please the pastor. I cannot fast to please the pastor. I, the I pastor cannot sleep. Yes. I, I, I need no if I don't go to church, the pastor will call me. I don't go to church for him. Mm. I go for my own salvation. I go for me and my kids. Yes. I go for me and my household. Yes. I go to seek the Lord for myself. Yes. Not for the pastor. Not for my neighbors to see. Mm. No, I bought a new shoe. I need to go to church this Sunday. Hey, that is your reward. Yes. Mm? that is your reward altitude can we go higher Hallelujah. prophetically speaking don't wait for the pastor to tell you what to do mm. seek for the in swahili they say <laughs> mungu bana mutafutaka oh, le seigneur on le zambe baluka kaye n'attends pas le dieu de pastor pius n'est peut-être pas mon dieu aga my god enough is enough Woo! we've prayed the god of abraham isaac and jacob i was uh -huh. in there I want to pray the Lord of Deborah Lukalu. Mm. That's the God I know. That's the God I encounter. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I was not there. Mm. I don't know the, the sacrifice that they made. I don't know what they did to become what they yes. did. But I know I got to try my best to go a step higher. Every single day I wake up, I want to say, Altitude, Lord. Take me higher. Hallelujah. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Please, 
if we continue like she said, we're gonna do a conference. <laughs> we're gonna do a conference. Don't forget, we're waiting for your questions. You know, in the comments, send your question in the comments. You know, comment your question. We're gonna take it. You know, Sister Deborah, we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna stay for for forever. Okay? She has she has she has family. She has duties. She has a lot of things to do. So this was a privilege to have her here. So please, guys. Send your question before it's be it's gonna be late. Okay? Yeah, oh my god. I like that part. I want to talk about the God of Maggie. Yes. Not the God of I'm not saying that whatever whatever happened in the Bible is not true. I believe that it's true, hundred percent true. true. It is true. But I was not there. Exactly. And they never walked under grace. We are under grace. Under grace. They walked under law. Hey, Jesus. 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 And Sister Deborah, even when I was, I was uh, uh, reading for Ezekiel, there was somewhere, when you just say grace, it woke me up. They would say, the spirit of the Lord will come into him, wake him home, and then goes. I'm like, what kind of spirit is that? The spirit we know is the spirit that lives in you. Mm. That is working with you every day. Mm. When you, wake, you, you, you awake, God is there. Your guide, your, eh, come on, dit ton consolateur, your comforter. Uh, the spirit of revelation is there with you like a faithful friend. But in that time, as strong, as powerful as the was and everything that God did with him, so the spirit will come, get him, the spirit, the spirit of Dieu va entrer en lui, le, 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 le lève, he's going to speak, talk about God, and then that's it. And So every time he had to talk about God, the spirit would get in him. I'm like, this is not what we're living today. God, Jesus came on earth. And then he said, I'm not going to leave you like this. I will send you a comfort. I will send you a spirit, a faithful friend. And then he living inside of us. What grace we have. What kind of privilege we have. And then we're just going to come on the foule la grâce de Dieu au pied. I'm just thinking, if we could do at least même a small portion of what those people did before with the spirit that we have today. What can we do for God? Like, what can we accomplish with God? Parce que à ce temps-là, it was not everybody having the spirit of it. It was not, there was not even under grace like you said. But today, on a la grâce de Dieu. We have all the opportunity. We've, we've seen, we, on a expérimenté Jésus. They didn't. They never heard of Jesus. It was just a promise. Mais nous, on vit la gloire de Dieu aujourd'hui. On vit Jésus. Like, what can we do today? Like, I'm so glad that everybody today will say, it's not when we say worship, oh, ce sera uh, une réunion de worship. Ah, oh, I'm not a singer. I'm not going. So today, you guys understood that it's not about if you sing good, if you know to, how to sing. No, no, no. I remember, Sister Deborah, one day, uh, me and you would talk, and you told me, you say, remember worship started even the P. Abraham? Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Say, say, say. <laughs> I want to say, say this. I'm going to say this. So, Abraham tells his wife Sarah. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Sarah, I'm coming. All right. Mm -hmm. Me and the servant mm -hmm. are going to worship. Yes. With Isaac. Hmm. That was the first time the word worship was ever. Written. Nowhere we heard Abraham sing. No, we did. It, the singing <laughs> was not involved, Sister Maggie. <laughs> the singing was not involved. It was not. Oh, he said, "I'm Jesus. going to worship," mm. and Sarah said, "Okay, no problem." He gets before the mountain all right mm. before he goes to the mountain mm. he tells his three servants stay right here mm. me and isaac mm. are going to worship yes amen and isaac looks at his dad he said daddy i can see you have all these sticks and stuff but where is the sacrifice oh, abraham says god will provide Alleluia. so i want to open a bracket i want to open a bracket to all the listeners right now hmm. all those that are connected god bless you mm. thank you for taking your time to listen to this listen to me very carefully Abraham said that God will provide. Amen. Mm. And sometimes in life, you got to leave Sarah behind. Mm. In order for you to worship, you got to leave the three servants behind. In order for you to worship, you got to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes, no, no, not even sometimes. When it requires worship, it requires you and your sacrifice. Mm. It, requires, it, it requires you and your secret place. Yes. That means we don't have to see how much you speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. We don't have to see how well you sing. We don't have to see how much offering you give. Mm. It's between you and the sacrifice. Yes. 
Yes. So yes. music was not involved, Sister it was McGee. Not. It was not singing. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. So that day I was blessed. I was like, okay. So I need to understand that it's, it's, it's like, it's, like you said to the uh, to even the person who give a finance. So at this time when I say I was going to worship God, Sarah knew already that aller donner un sacrifice à Dieu that was worship too. Yes, yes. It was worship. It was not like we're going to church singing. No, giving is a worship. Wiping the church floor is worship. Uh, uh, being a nasher is your way of worship. Like we just say, see if si tu n'étais pas là, you didn't understand. It's not because, yeah, yes, yes, oh my God. Do we have any questions? Okay, let me see here if I have a question. Okay, she said, Deborah, we have a question here. What does it mean to worship in spirit and in truth? I said it, to worship in spirit and in truth is reverence with all your heart. It's simple. Not to impress anybody. No, they got to see that I know how to lift up my hand. They got to see that I know how to seek the Lord. Everybody here got to feel me that I'm, I'm present. God is not looking for that. What it means to, when God referred to uh, in spirit and in truth, is simply meant with all your heart. With an undivided heart. Because we serve a jealous God. He's so jealous that he doesn't want to mix you and other things. One foot in, one foot out. The Bible says that it's either you are hot or you are cold. If you are warm, I will spit you out. So God doesn't want to share you with anything else. He doesn't want to share you with your boyfriend. He doesn't want to share you with your girlfriend. He doesn't want to share you with your job. He doesn't want you to put him on second priority. He wants you to make him number one priority. And that's simple. Spirit and in truth. With all your heart. Without any distraction. Without giving excuses, I'm not going to do this because I don't have time. You don't find time laying around and say, oh, I found time for God. You make time in your busy schedule. Put God. Never allow God to, put, to come second priority in your yes, life. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, God being first in our life. Hallelujah. Woo. Yes, Lord. We have another question. How do you get others to connect with God while worshiping, like for seniors. Sister Maggie, you cannot take me to downtown if you've never been there. Yes. All right? The only time you will take me to downtown is because you've been there. You say, Sister Deborah, let's go to downtown. Now, there's no way you will show me the presence of the Lord if you've never been there. So my duty as a gospel singer, mm. as a worshiper, is to first encounter the presence of the Lord mm. before I pull people into the presence of the Lord. Mm. We go to some churches, you can clearly see that that worshiper is not in the presence of Bo Bondela, Bo Sambela, priez, chantez. Il est absent de la présence de Dieu, mais il est en train de pousser. We don't push, we pull. Because we are already there. Mm. Yes. Yes, that's true. So what about people who, even if you pull, you pull. <laughs> no, like, I'm not kidding. That's true. I know a lot of singers, you recognize yourself. You can be somewhere. You don't even have to do much. You're just there. This is for singers now. It's not, but you can, you, you sing, you don't even do a lot. You just start and you see everybody in one accord. Like, everybody... Even the, the, the people who come to church, everybody's willing, like, tu sens ce désir. Even make you feel going up, uh, deep and deep and deep. And you go some, some other places. You prepare yourself. You did use fast. You did 390 days. <laughs> <laughs> in one side. <laughs> and on. you did 40 more in the other side. <laughs> You come and people are just watching you like, what is he even doing? You know, you did everything Sister that's Maggie, not working. I know it's draining. Remember, I said, we don't want a bunch of people to lift up their hands for us to know that we've come to do our job. Yes. All right? You don't kill the messenger. Mm. All right? When, yeah. when somebody comes and gives you a mail <laughs> of eviction, you don't say, you, why did you know? He's just a messenger. You came to do what the Lord asked you to do. If you are received, glory to God. If you're not received, glory to God. Maybe just maybe you were sent for one person and you did your share and you leave even the lord he was not received in his own home yes. remember that mm -hmm. so don't ever feel it's draining yes 
But that's why you are different from others. That's why you are loaded. That's why you are gifted. And that's why you are called. You do what you have to do and let God do the rest. Yes. Yes. Woo. Yes. 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 So some people want to know, like, what is your secret, like, when you, when you, in the pulpit or when somewhere you, you sing, what, what, what brings the presence of God? What is, what's, what is this, that difference mm. that can, when you dare and then it brings the, pr the presence of God, other people, they can try, but it doesn't work. What is your secret? Do you have uh, any spice or juju, something? A juju somewhere. <laughs> yes, my juju is the presence of, I said it. I said it. There's but no they way. The, they look for presence no, 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 of no. God too. So Sister, what's wrong? Sister Maggie, I said, you can never take me to Atlanta if you've never been to Atlanta. All right. I'm in Atlanta. When I go somewhere, I present. I said, no, come with me to Atlanta. All right? I present the one that lives in me. I present the one that I serve. I'm just a messenger. Like I said, I do my best. The Lord does his rest. All right? I'm not here to show off that I've got the presence of God more than anybody. No, 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 no. Not, not at all. The Lord does what he does with whom he wants whenever, we, whenever he wants. All right? So there's no way I can present to you. My secret is the Lord. My secret is a secret place. We heard some people saying like American people saying like the the anointing is in the voice. Some other some people Sister when you Maggie, just open your voice, the anointing is there. If <laughs> if Sister Maggie, if the anointing was found in the voice, we would be worshiping with Beyonce songs. <laughs> I would be putting Beyonce and lift up my hands. If it was in the voice, I said it. If it was all about the voice, God, God was going to forgive the enemy, the devil, and say, no, he's too gifted. I need this one. Yes. Wow. So it's not in the voice. Yes. It's in the heart. Hmm. One more question. As God is God of order, how do you find a balance during a service between letting the worship continue and moving on the next order of service? I love that. I love that's a good question. Thank you to the one who asked. You know, we cannot control, all right? We cannot control how the service goes. We cannot control because the Holy Ghost aussi vient créer un désordre. Tu sais ça? Le Saint Esprit aussi. Le désordre dans l'ordre. Dieu, oui, le désordre dans l'ordre. Notre désordre. Exactement. It reminds me of my husband. Mm. Just entre parenthèses. Sometimes my husband have, il aime tout arranger. Everything like you already clean, but when you come, you find that it's not clean enough. He will clean in his way. Mm. Sometimes I will tell him, Ton ordre, c'est mon désordre. Because when I put my thing here, I know it's here. When you come, you change. You make a désordre. So that's what the Holy Spirit comes to do. No, I'm just saying, Sister Maggie, during the service, all right, you look at the time, especially you as the, head, the, the leader of the choir, you look at the time. But if you feel like the Holy Ghost is doing what he's doing, allow him to do it. Because the Holy Ghost doesn't uh, uh, duplicate himself every Sunday. It's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in this hour and I'm going to do this specific time in order to bouleverse the culte. No. The Saint Esprit comes when he wants. Mm -hmm. you know, we invite the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost sometimes, he works in the calm when the pastor is preaching. Sometimes yeah. it's through singing. Sometimes it could be even through offering. Yeah. You get your deliverance while you're giving your tithe. Mm -hmm. You get your deliverance while you are living. Because the Bible says that no one comes in his presence and lives the same way. way so some works, certain yes. people will receive their healing, their breakthrough, their whatever, through the door while they are living. Mm -hmm. So we cannot determine how the service goes. But we got to have order in church because God is an excellent God. Yes. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Can we clap our hands where we are? Can we shout for the Lord? Oh my God. I wish I was the other side so I can take notes. <laughs> I don't have my notes here. So there is so many things. I know that. Let me tell you. I'm sure and I know I'm confident that a lot of things she was saying here it's not, it's not what she prepared. It's not something that she had. So that means even her, she wished she was there and taking notes for whatever she was saying here. <laughs> oh my God. Sister Deborah, um, can you, can you sing something? No, I prefer, <laughs> I prefer not to sing. Can we pray? Can we pray? Yes. You know, we, we're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for every person that is watching us and say, I desire an altitude i want to go one step higher i want to get better i want to serve the lord with reverence with with uh, 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 excellence i want to be better at what i do if i play an instrument in my church i want to do it with all my heart if i serve the lord while sweeping let me not see who gives me a hand because sometimes yeah yeah they
Oh, en nombre. We don't see them. We don't appreciate them. It's God who rewards you. And I just want to encourage you to continue to do what you do yes. without looking at who to impress with, yes. without looking at somebody to validate you, without looking at somebody to, to, to clap for you. It is God that is the rewarder and he's the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Yes. And I just want to pray Sister Maggie and I, we're going to pray for every person that desires for an altitude. You're going to pray. Just close your eyes where you are and let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus we thank you we give you glory and honor for this opportunity Lord God given Lord Jesus to speak Lord God about worship worship Lord God that breaks chains worship that open doors worship Lord God that takes us a step higher worship that gives us what we desire worship that pleases you and pleases you alone father we thank you and give you glory for every viewers watching us from all over the world we thank you for their lives and we strongly believe that your presence was in their homes and I decree and declare that every person oh God watching us right now father God after this altitude meeting their lives will never be the same again their lives in the secret place so God will never be the same again I pray Lord God for a surplus and overflow in their service and overflow in their service and overflow in their worship and overflow in their lives secretly privately and even in the public we pray oh God altitude in their finances altitude in their marriage altitude in their breakthrough altitude in their business altitude in their finances altitude in their homes altitude in the lives of their children altitude in everything that they do everything they touch we decree and declare altitude in the name of Jesus Christ we invite you Holy Ghost to take control and take place in their respectful homes wherever there was division we say altitude wherever Lord God there was quarrel we say altitude wherever there was poverty we say altitude wherever there was mediocrity we say altitude wherever there was barrenness we say altitude wherever Lord God there was unfaithfulness we say altitude that you God may do what you know how to do best because you are God all by yourself you don't need no man to help you to be God we thank you for these moments we thank you Lord God for breakthrough we thank you for victory because I know we don't fight for victory we fight in victory even when the enemy tries to fight us we fight in victory knowing Lord God that you said the telestai it is all done it is all over it is all accomplished it is all given even when the enemy tries to fight us we look at him in the face and say altitude we look at him in the eyes and say altitude in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you and give you glory honor because it all it all belongs to you Lord we worship you King of glory we thank you for this time that we spent together in Jesus mighty name all the saints will say amen and amen Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for this moment. Thank you, Minister Deborah. You see, she's not just a singer. I'm telling you, when we say minister, she's a minister. So, God, we thank God for you. Thank you for that prayer. It was really good. And uh, I know we've been blessed. And uh, this is not going to be the last time. And you all know her. Even if it's not about singing, she's not about view. This is just because, uh, between me and you. Go watch all her YouTube, sh- sh- you know, YouTube uh, videos. Go subscribe if you're not. <laughs> it's Deborah Lukalu. So if you're not, I'm urging you, go subscribe. Because there is a lot, a lot, a lot that is going. And uh, God bless you, Sister Deborah. Thank you so much. This is a privilege. It's always a privilege to, to be sitting next to you. <laughs> You know when you when like you say when you you meet Pastor Pius, you gotta take something from him. Even if you don't know, even if you don't pay attention, you find yourself talking something like the, the way he used to talk. Like, oh, this is from Bishop. This is the way God made made us to. Be. So I know, sitting next to you, there is a lot of things that I took. Even I didn't know that I took. <laughs> I took a lot of things. I mean, this is prophetic. This is my prophetic worship right there. <laughs> so this is a privilege to have you here. I know you have a lot to do, but you took this time. And we thank your husband for allowing us to, <laughs> to have you here for us. This is our moment. This is not a uh, wife of... No, this is our sister Deborah for ourselves. 
this is our time so we gotta do whatever we gotta be after that that's it <laughs> yes so thank you all guys for uh watching thank you for sharing thank you for being here with us and uh, i'm gonna tell you go follow cpm page instagram everywhere you know we have a lot of things to come please <laughs> They're telling me no this is i'm 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 just a host okay <laughs> okay so god bless you we love you guys and um we'll see you next time in our next event you know god bless you where you are uh sister deborah say it's not about singing it's about worshiper altitude just to go <laughs> altitude to go altitude you don't have to be a singer so Thank you guys. God bless you.